This portable power station has a combination of two features that I have never seen before in any other power station. It has hot swappable batteries combined with a large AC inverter in this small little package right here. This is the Rally 1200. It is a new portable power station coming out. I want to do a review on it in case this is something you might be interested in getting. In case you're new to the channel, my name is Reese, and on this channel I cover anything related to solar power because it's what I'm excited about, and that does include these portable battery units that are often recharged by solar panels. So a few months ago I reviewed Runhood's flagship product, the 600 here, and I had never seen a power station like this before that had the hot swappable batteries even while under load. So you could be running AC devices, charging your phones, laptops, pull out a battery, put in a new one without losing the power the whole time. And the key to this system is the removable batteries themselves. Now Runhood calls these energy bars, so this power station's on right now, and I can just pull out a battery. Here's one of the energy bars, and the system's still running over here because this other battery is in there. Each one of these batteries is 324 watt hours, and on the side it has what looks like a like an old serial port connector that it, it runs the power and communications through and you can connect other things onto here which is kind of a neat system. I'll show you that. And then on the back you have a little handle here so you can grab it and pull it out or push it back in. A little indicator that tells you what is up, you know, the top side. And then it has on the top has little indicator lights. So you push that button and it'll show the state of charge. So this one's full state of charge. And if it's charging, you'll see it blinking and it clicks and goes in there. So hopefully you can envision what the system can do because if you get one of these guys and you can get extra batteries, these extra energy bars, what you can do is while you're running loads on this, you can recharge these and swap them out so that you never lose power. All right, so Runhood told me they were coming out with a new power station. They didn't tell me anything about it, but after I had reviewed this one, I was hoping that one of the things that they would increase was the continuous output on the AC inverter, and that's what they did. They increased the output to 1200 watts of continuous power across all of these AC ports, and they have a 2400 watt surge. So one of the main reasons I was excited about this inverter increase is that now you can do things like run a full-size refrigerator. And I think it's kind of crazy that even though you can get so much more power out of this, the size of the power station itself is really not much different than the old one. So this one has 600 watts of continuous power, and this one has double the AC power. But you can see they're not much different in size. And if I do it this way, this one's just a little bit higher than this one. Uh, their handles and, and shape are a little bit different, but really it's not that much bigger. The slots where the batteries go in are uh, obviously the same because the batteries are interchangeable. So because I was excited about this feature, the very first test that I did on the 1200 was to see if it could run my refrigerator. And so the very first time I plugged it in and turned it on, it was able to start my fridge, run that compressor that needs that high wattage surge. It did that no problem. Then the next thing I wanted to test was the hot swappable feature. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half and I have two freshly charged energy bars here at 100% and I want to swap them out from the, the batteries in here, but I don't want to lose power to the fridge while it's going, so I can hot, hot swap them one at a time. Now with the new batteries in there, even though they weren't at 100% each, this says I have four hours of runtime left. So that gives me enough time to take these batteries and charge them up by solar, charge them up for my car or a wall outlet somewhere else or another 12 volt DC source with the adapter. And then I can come back in here and hot swap them again. And then I can keep that process going as long as I need to, to get, keep power going to my refrigerator. I took my batteries outside to charge them with a solar panel, and it's actually pretty neat because Runhood has a device that allows you to charge up to two energy bars directly with a solar panel. This little box is called the SC200. It is a separate purchase, but what it allows you to do is to charge one or two battery packs with up to 200 watts of solar. 
So while my refrigerator inside is running, at the same time, I'm able to charge these two energy bars with a 200 watt solar panel. The SC200 doesn't have a graphical interface, but on the energy bars, there are little dots that show you the current state of charge in 20% increments, and they blink when they're charging so you can track the progress. Let's go over some of the physical features of the 1200, and then I'll get into more detail on the charging and discharging. Okay, so here is what the physical box looks like. Let's start in the front here. It has a nice screen. You obviously see the state of charge with this blue ring around it. You can see the input and output wattages at the same time. And the 1200 can do uh, charging and discharging at the same time with AC and DC. Now you might be wondering, how does this thing know what the state of charge is since there's two battery banks? Well, basically it just averages them. Right now I only have one in there and it's charged at 100%. So it'll show the state of charge of that one battery but I have this other battery here that's not at 100%, and watch what happens when I put this in. So it changed to 99%. So the other one is about 98, 99%, and so it averages it out and shows that state of charge there. You have your three AC ports down here. You have a button to turn them on. You have a button to turn on the DC ports. It's got a 12 volt car port, two 100 watt power delivery USB-C ports, which is really nice. And it's got two USB-A quick charge ports. Down here is where you charge things, lift up this little door. There is the AC charging port right here. No need for a big power brick, just uh, the cable, plug it into the wall. And then over here is where you would plug in the adapter to charge your car or a solar panel would go in there. On the side is where the batteries go in. You can see I got one battery in there and one uh, missing here so you can see what it looks like. On this side, there is a light in case uh, you need it. There's a couple different modes, high, low, and then there's an SOS mode. On the top, there's a wireless charging pad and this charging pad works very well, uh, especially on my iPhone 13 Pro with a big bump on it. Just put it on there and it starts charging. This handle is pretty nice. It folds down in there and it's easy to you know, store away. One question my wife had was, do the batteries stay in there? And the answer is yes, they lock into place. So you see that battery's there? I'll shake this really hard. That battery is, is locked in there. They're not gonna fall out. Now with two batteries inside of the Rally 1200, the whole thing weighs 18 pounds and 14 ounces. If you buy the 1200, it comes with those two energy bars, comes with a car charging cable, comes with a wall AC cable, and this travel bag. So something else to point out if you're considering getting this system, you can also get these little add-ons right here that connect to the energy bars themselves. So you pull out an energy bar and you can take this, it's called the DC engine, and it just clips onto one of the energy bars. So when you connect this on to the energy bar, you get two USB-C ports at 100 watts power delivery plus two USB-A ports. And you can even charge the energy bar through this USB-C port at 100 watts. You can also get this 80 watt inverter that plugs directly into the energy bar. And what's great about this Run Hood ecosystem is that you don't have to get all of these things at once. You can get them as you want them or need them. And particularly if you want more storage, you can pick up more energy bars. Now let's talk about discharging. The first thing I wanna show you is, does this have pass through AC? And if it does, how quickly can it switch over from the wall outlet to the battery pack itself? So I have the wall plugged in right here. It is charging. It's also discharging at the same time through these AC ports, passing through the AC to run this laptop. This laptop does not have a battery in it. You can see down there, so it is running off the AC right here. So I'm gonna pull the plug and let's take a look over here to see if there's any flash or if the computer continues to run, that is a good sign. So let's pull this off. I didn't see anything over here on the backlight or the screen. So that is a very fast switch over time from the wall AC over to the battery pack. So it's really nice to have the pass-through AC and that UPS-like function. So if you're running like a CPAP machine or something that you want to switch to battery pack in case you lost power, you'll know this can do that. Now let's do a stress test on the AC inverter. I have it hooked up to a 1400 watt load. And even though it's rated at 1200 watts, it was able to run that larger load for about a minute before it shut down. Next, I wanted to see how long the 1200 could last at its maximum output of around 1200 watts. Now, because this inverter is sized pretty large compared to the battery battery capacity, it's not expected to run all the way down to 0%. And this is because of this high current generating a consistent buildup of heat over time. I'm discharging this battery at about a 2C rate. And what that means is that the output is about double the capacity. Here I was able to get over 1200 watts of continuous output for about 14 minutes before the heat warning came on and it shut down. And I felt like that was pretty impressive. Running at the higher rate does come at a cost to efficiency because the fans need to run at maximum speed to keep things cool. Uh, but in that test that I did, running at maximum rate, 
I got an AC efficiency of around 63%. And then I lowered it to about 500 watts of output in another test, and I got 69% efficiency. In terms of charging the Renhood 1200, my favorite way is to recharge by solar panels, and the 1200 itself can take 200 watts of solar, so I have a 200 watt solar panel going in right here. I have one energy bar in there. The sun is a little low, but it's, it's putting out about 160 watts. But I have another panel over here, and an energy bar on this side. And so, because the 1200 and the SC200 can take uh, 200 watts each, uh, if I separate the batteries, I can get 200 watts uh, into each of these energy bars at the same time with this setup. So 200 watts going into here, uh, and then 200 watts into that other energy bar in case I needed to recharge by solar and charge them up a bit faster. Now, of course, you can just use the SC200 by itself or put both energy bars in the 1200 if that's all you had with, with a solar panel and you don't need a 200 watt solar panel. You can use anything up to 200 watt solar panel. Uh, but just want to show you the different combinations that you could use with this whole system. If you want to charge the 1200 by solar, you might need to get an extra connector because a lot of solar panels have MC4 connectors coming off of them. So like this is an MC4. So I have this little adapter here that takes MC4 to a barrel plug. And this doesn't fit on the run hood. The run hood takes a six millimeter plug. So these are very easy to get. So uh, you can pick up this cable or you can get it right from run hood and then an adapter and it goes right to six millimeter and then it fits in there. Now, if you charge by wall IC, all you have to do is plug it in. There's not a big power brick and you can expect to get about 400 watts of input, which is about 200 watts per energy bar. I did an experiment to see how long it would take to charge one energy bar, one through the wall IC, and I have one charging through the USB-C port. And it took about an hour and 40 minutes to charge the one energy bar in the 1200. And it took about double that amount of time to charge at 100 watts through that USB-C port. So here's some of my conclusions. I was very impressed with the 1200. It was rock solid in all of my tests and the flexibility of having a hot swappable system with a large AC inverter really is a unique feature. And having that 1200 watts of continuous AC output with that 2400 watt surge means that you can really run things like fridge, a freezer, small microwaves, or even most coffee makers. So it's a pretty versatile system. I like that you can charge and use the energy bars independently of the main unit. Not only can you take advantage of the hot swappable feature, you don't need to carry as much weight as you might need to. So if you only need this, just bring this. But it also means that you don't have to buy everything at once. And so you can add to the system over time. I didn't mention this before since it's not really a pro or a con, but the battery chemistry inside of the energy bars is NMC. NMC is known for its higher energy density. So basically what that means is that you can have more energy with less weight. I was hoping to see a little bit better AC efficiency numbers, but I think that's actually part of the trade-off with this removable battery system. You want these things to be safe and reliable, and you can see they have it all encased in here. And if you compare that to a, a standard power station that doesn't have removable batteries, they have a fan and that airflow can push through all of the cells. And so in this system, the 1200 has to work a little bit harder with the fan going to keep things cool. And another thing to note is that the 1200 doesn't come with a smartphone app to talk with it, at least that I'm aware of. The 1200 is getting launched, so check the video description for the latest deals and coupons. I'll keep it updated. And finally, this is a new YouTube channel for me, so if you like anything related to solar, then please consider subscribing.